Bombardier. Hello to any people who view this Heritage Fair presentation. For Heritage Fair this year, I chose the topic of Bombardier. I chose this topic because I've always been fascinated with planes and trains, all of which Bombardier makes. When I chose this topic, I thought it would teach me more about my fascinations. My research questions for this Heritage Fair are, who founded Bombardier, where, when, what is the history of Bombardier? What products does Bombardier produce? Where does Bombardier send their products to? And finally, what companies does Bombardier own or used to own? Bombardier was founded in the year 1942 in Valcourt, Quebec by Joseph Armand Bombardier. Bombardier has a very long and interesting history. Some of the major points that happened in Bombardier's history are one of the most interesting points in their history happened in the year 1942. This was when Joseph the founder built the first form of the snowmobile called the B7. You might think only good things have happened in Bombardier's history. There are also some bad things that have happened to Bombardier. Two of the worst things that happened to Bombardier happened during and after World War II. During these two time periods, Bombardier sales hit two huge drops, resulting in less profit to Bombardier. Joseph, being the genius that he was, adapted to them by building different products and increasing his profit by even more than he had before. In my opinion, Joseph got his best idea ever when, in the year 1950, he created a smaller version of the snowmobile, like this one in the picture. Ergo, the Skidoo was created. Joseph sadly died of cancer at age 56. Bombardier is a massive company and they make many products. One of the first products Bombardier produced was the B7. Bombardier also makes a variety of trains, such as the turbine locomotive. This is a picture of it. Bombardier also makes a variety of jets, such as these. The first Bombardier jet came into production around the year 1986. One of Bombardier's most famous products and one of their most recognizable products is the Skidoo or the Snowmobile. Now I will talk about where Bombardier sends their products to. Bombardier is present on five continents and over 60 countries. Bombardier is one of the world's largest rail vehicle manufacturers. Their trains run all over Europe and Britain. Bombardier's jets are used all over North and South America. This is a map of South America. Products like their snowmobiles, personal watercraft, sea dews, and quads are used all over North America daily too. All these products most surely help the Canadian economy. This is true. Bombardier helps our economy by providing business to 5,200 companies across Canada. Bombardier has also employed 9,265 people in Canada since 1992. Bombardier is a 500 conglomerate company, which means Bombardier is made up of 500 other companies. One of the first companies Bombardier bought out was Lana Rotax in the year 1970. In 1987, Bombardier bought out Canada Air. 2001 was the year when Bombardier bought out Antraz. In my opinion, in the year 2003, Bombardier made its worst deal ever. This was when Bombardier sold BRP, Bombardier Recreational Products, for $875 million. Other companies that Bombardier own are AEA Technology, Hawker Sidley, Snowcat, Kingston, and the rights to Challenger Jet. In conclusion, Bombardier is a massive company all started by a man named Joseph Armand Bombardier in Valcourt, Quebec. Bombardier has a long history starting when Joseph created the first form of the snowmobile and founded Bombardier. Bombardier makes planes, trains, snowmobiles, and many other products. Bombardier sends their products to many countries like Europe and South America. Some companies that Bombardier own are Antrez, Kingston, and Snowcat. 
I really enjoyed learning more about Bombardier and my fascinations and how it helps Canada. Finally, thank you for listening to and viewing my Heritage Fair presentation.